I wouldn't mind one myself as a small pet, maybe. Now, uh, thank you very much indeed to all of you guys who have entered our postcard to Beijing competition. We'll be announcing the winners in about six weeks' time. Now, the games themselves are just 17 weeks away, and as part of the big build-up of the Olympic Tour, which was in London last weekend, I was one of those who carried it. The Olympic and Paralympic Games are the greatest sporting spectacle on the planet. The start of the Games is marked with the lighting of a flame in the stadium, which only goes out when the competition is over. The flame starts life in Greece at Olympia, the site of the first ever Olympic Games. Using a special burning torch, the flame is then passed around the world. The torch is being carried by more than 20,000 people through 22 cities before arriving in Beijing in August. By the time it gets there, it will have travelled over 85,000 miles. Last Sunday, it came to London, and I felt honoured to be among the 80 people who carried the torch across the capital. As you might have seen on the news, some people were protesting along the route. They disagree with how China rules the neighbouring region of Tibet and the way the Chinese government treats the Tibetan people. At times, protesters tried to disrupt the torch's journey, including here, when it was being carried by Connie. However, my part of the journey passed off relatively peacefully. Before I knew it, it was time to pass the flame on. Wow! Oh my goodness, what a privilege and what an honour. Absolutely manic, you're surrounded by so many people. I'd done my bit, but over the next four months, the torch will continue its journey to Beijing. And whatever happens, the world will be watching. And now for the next lesson.